nothing better than seeing an old childhood game that you made some of the best and longtime friends on. You know, there's nothing better than seeing that game die, shrivel up, and then decompose in the soil. Oh wait, that that, that won't really make much sense unless I give you some backstory to it. All right. Oh well, the game I'm talking about is is Lost Saga, and for the past four years, I've wanted nothing more than to see this game lose all source of revenue and have its player base leave out the door in handfuls for, for the complete bonehead decisions that the developers were making. And you know what? It's finally a dream come true. Lost Saga, it was a pretty fun game. You had these things called mercenaries or heroes that had fun attacks and abilities that you can mix and match on other different heroes. Heroes that could, that could like just push and slap people off the map. Heroes that could literally just, just bounce characters off the ground like a basketball. We had ice mages, pirates, heroes from already other known fighting games, monkey kings, mafia bosses. You know, we had it all and it was so much fun. And it was one of the very few games, I'll say it was one of the very few games that I could just play casually and be fully content with. Now, now on the other hand, Lost Saga was also a complete trap. A trap that could have been one of the most respectable games. I think, I think this game could have been better and bigger than stuff like Overwatch on release, Dota 2, or you know World of Warcraft. But they didn't care. They just didn't care. They, they said, hey there, hey there veterans of the game. I know you've been playing the game for like, I don't know, it was like 10, 10 years or something. But how would you like it if we started making characters that made people who just joined the game expect exponentially better than you. Well, would you like that? I mean, not really. Introducing Strider, the, the hero that even a uh, paraplegic Parkinson's patient can abuse to win. And by the way, you can only purchase them with real money. Yeah, I'm talking about pay to win, the nasty greens. For years upon years, Lost Saga has been somewhat pay to win. And I won't lie, all right? It's been somewhat pay to win. They had these things called uh, premium and rare heroes that whenever anyone saw in their games, they, they would kind of just roll their eyes. But, but it was bearable, you know? You, you had to get a little more creative, but it wasn't pushing it too much. You know, we all understood that, uh, you know, as a free-to-play game, they needed some way to monetize their game so they don't end up on the streets. That's fine, you know? It it it'd have been much wiser to adjust the costume and gear system so you'd be able to sell cosmetic skins. But you know what? It's fine. I like a challenge anyways. But then they introduced these heroes classified as uniques, and the player base just started to rapidly decline. No, no, faster, faster than that. These heroes, they, they weren't a challenge to face. They were impossible. Players with uniques could literally, they could literally just leave a rock on their attack button, go heat up some hot pockets in the oven, and then return to a victory screen. It, it felt like actual shit going up against these champs. The player base complained for years, years about them. And very few things happened to him, you know? This created an era of the game where the majority of all the fight rooms were, were titled No Uniques or Kick, well, you know, which, which people didn't listen to, especially when they were getting their ass handed to them by actual good players of the game. Oh, oh, I'm getting beat fair and square by an experienced player of the game? You've activated my trap card. And by trap card, I mean my credit card. The only time these unique heroes will get nerfed or weakened was when they were getting ready to reveal another unique hero. And every time I was getting my ass cheeks spread, spread open by these unfair abominations, you know, I thought to myself as I uninstalled a game for the 13th time that day, one day you're gonna regret these decisions. One day the lake of this game will run dry because of how poorly you treat your player base. And I'll, I'll be there. I'll be there to laugh and spit in the barren soil. And finally, Finally, <laughs> that day has come. And you know what? As much as I wanted to see this game and the developers or game directors or whoever the hell was in charge of the decision of making the uniques, as much as I wanted to see them get what was coming to them, I, I, I don't even feel happy about it. Kind of empty, in fact. <laughs> if anything, I, I really hope that this game w would be picked up by a bigger company or you know more more competent company like riot games or blizzard you know who though they do have questionable balancing practices for their games at times they at least know how to monetize free-to-play games without making them pay to win or unbearingly unfair <sighs> but yeah sorry i had to come down to this lost saga you'll be missed bro you'll be missed.
I changed my classes for the last year For the past year I felt like I was half here Last job they had me working at the cashier Damn manager, I guess my time was well spent My last check was $13.12 Had a girl with 13 problems and 12 cents Trying to make a living while I was living at my mom's house